Hello and welcome to this video tour of number 17 Norton Road, the house you see in front of you. So this is a 1930s built semi-detached property. It has been extended to the side and rear, which you'll see as we walk through the house. I'm just going to start by showing you the location of this property. Norton Road is a very quiet road, residential. It's got a mixture of age of houses actually because there are a few modern houses. A few 1960s properties but equally then we have as you can see the 1930s houses just spinning around this way just around the left hand bend in the distance there that then takes you through to Loddon Bridge Road uh, that's obviously where the bus route is so uh, this property is very conveniently located for buses um, and also we're very close in fact to shops uh, in fact, Woodley Shopping Centre is actually not too far from here. That's certainly within walking distance, probably about a mile from here. There are local shops much closer by. So, as you can see, on the front here, we've got parking for, I would say, two cars. And there is a side access, which takes you down to the rear garden, which you can just see there. So let's take you through the front door and into the entrance hall. So in the entrance hall here, in fact, I'm going to step into the property, close the door behind me and then turn round and just show you the entrance hall. There's the front door that we've just come through and the stairs to my left. I'll show you this room in front first of all. Now, this is used as a bedroom at the moment, as you can see. But in fact, this really is a reception room. It's the original lounge when the house was first built. As you can see, we've got a fireplace, an open fireplace actually there with a chimney breast and then quite a nice bay window. The windows in this property are UPVC double glazed sealed units and we have gas radiator central heating. So this room I would say is a reception room or of course, because it's an independently accessed room, it could well be the bedroom for as it is now. So let's just spin round here and now show you the dining room. Now this again, an original room, part of the original house. Uh, let me just step into here and turn round. You'll see a fireplace there, that's purely just a feature. And in the corner over there, the white door, that's uh, an understairs storage cupboard, quite a deep cupboard. And from this room, you've got an access through to the kitchen there and then through to the lounge there. But I'm just going to turn around further and show you. Um, this would be, be evident on the floor plan, but this is an extension. This is a study area or playroom area, as you can see. Probably a playroom area for the current occupants here. But quite nice because it's got a front aspect window and a side aspect window. So could make a good study. And... Now let's take you through there into the main lounge. So this is at the rear of the house, part of the extension, and it's a dual aspect room. You can see we've got side windows and also the rear window, including the door opening to the garden. We've got laminate flooring here, as you can see. The laminate flooring actually runs into the dining room behind me and also the study. You can see the radiator on the wall there. Let's just step into the room and turn round and show you the room from a different angle. That's probably a better angle there. Quite a nice size lounge, quite a long room. Now we do have a, a door here to an inner hallway, um, but what I'm going to do just to help you understand the layout of the property is I'm going to go back through into the dining room and then into the kitchen. And then I'll show you that uh, little hallway again in just a moment. So, yeah, so the kitchen. Quite a few units here. You can see the work surfaces and eye level units. Um, we've got a, a sort of opening here looking through into the lounge. So you've got a sort of almost like an open plan feel. Space for the fridge freezer there at the end and dishwasher space there. And I'll just spin round cooker space there. So, whoops. So what we have is a door leading through into the sort of inner hallway that I showed you a moment ago. Now what this does, this takes you through to the bathroom, but also just before the bathroom on my right hand side here, what we have is a sort of utility cupboard. 
There's the washing machine below and the tumble dryer. So that's quite useful, which means that the washing machine is not in the main kitchen. OK, so now the bathroom is a white suite, as you can see. It's all tiled. And if I just step into the room, spin round, you'll notice we've got a shower there over the bath. And there is a heated towel rail just here, as you can see. And the usual pedestal wash basin there with a the low level WC and a rear aspect. That's a frosted window, of course, being a bathroom, but it is a UPVC double glazed sealed unit one. And then I'm just reversed back slightly here. This door, as you will recall, then takes you back through into the lounge. So let's just go back this way and then hopefully you'll see the link. Again, there is a floor plan online, so that floor plan will certainly give you more guidance as to the layout and hopefully it will all make sense having watched this video as well so right let's just go upstairs so i'm going to go up to the landing i'm going to turn right straight away as this is the main bedroom so it's at the front of the house let's step into the room here uh, you can see we've got a there's a chimney breast there um, and space for drawer units or more wardrobes. But if I just spin round, this is where the wardrobes are. As you can see, double and single. So all built in, quite large floor to ceiling. And you can just about see the front window there. Again, UPVC double glazed. So that's the main bedroom for this property. Back onto the landing now. It's a long landing, as you can see. We've got a bedroom on the left, one in front of us on the right. Let's show you this one here. So this is a rear aspect window. Okay, quite a lot of furniture in here. We've got a triple wardrobe sat there and also drawer unit, as you can see, and probably a hamster cage. But in the corner, we've got a built-in wardrobe there. So it's slightly difficult to show you the real size of this room. It is a double bedroom, um, but there is quite a lot of stuff in this room. so. Hopefully uh, that will be evident on the camera. So that's the double room. And then we've got at the end of the landing here, another bedroom, which is the third bedroom. So again, rear aspect room. So this is a single bedroom. Step in. So there's no bulkhead in this. Um, uh, for those that aren't sure, that's the sort of the box where you have the staircase going underneath um, because obviously the staircase is located in a different part of the house. So it does mean that as a third bedroom, the size, it's the full size you see on the floor plan. OK, so that's the third bedroom. And I'm just going to back up onto the landing and just show you that we do have upstairs here a WC. The main bathroom, of course, is downstairs. But there is a WC upstairs here, and also this houses the gas fired boiler, which is in front of you there. So, three bedrooms and a WC upstairs. And then let's make our way downstairs. And then downstairs, three good sized reception rooms, to be fair. And then the kitchen, utility cupboard, and the bathroom. So let's make our way through the house now and into the rear garden. If, um, if you have any questions about this property, my name is Gary. If you phone the number on the website, ask to speak to me and hopefully I'll be able to answer any questions you may have. Or indeed, of course, if you'd like to book a viewing, then it's the same telephone number. So the rear garden, this is quite a nice feature actually of the house. Um, it's about 60 feet in length. So as you can see, if I just step to one side we've got a very big garden shed here more of a workshop really so the patio here this is actually a covered patio as you can see it's covered um, full width of the house I'm just gonna spin around here and show you the side access because that's also covered as you can see there's the side gate and let's take you down the garden so we've got obviously the lawn extending into a second area here. And I'm just gonna make way down to the end because we have more workshops, storage, shed, that sort of thing. 
um, right across the rear boundary of the the garden here. This is a, another shed workshop here. You can see the doors. And then we have this sort of covered area, which is absolutely perfect for just general storage. So I've just stepped inside and then I'll just spin round and then you'll get an idea of the back of the house as we walk back. So you can see the extension on the rear, but also along the side. So it's what we call a wraparound extension. Um, I'm just gonna to point to my left slightly. You'll see a neighboring property has got a loft conversion done there. So that shows, that's the same style of house. That shows you the potential that this property may have as well. So you could create four, four bedrooms upstairs rather than four bedrooms. Uh, the way it's been set up by the current owners with obviously that ground floor reception room being a bedroom. So, let's just take you back into the main lounge and we'll finish this tour. In this room here. So it just about concludes the tour, so thank you for watching. And yes, in fact, um, I've already mentioned it, but if you'd like to take a look inside, give us a call. The number's on the website. Thanks for watching.